Welcome back. It is the time of the year when we review the key developments that happened in the field of electric aviation in the last 12 months, that is in the year 2023. If 2022 was the year where we saw only a handful of developers making meaningful progress on EV tolls, then in 2023 we saw further consolidation by only a select few. No unique and novel designs came to the fore. There was some development in battery technology, more specifically on lithium-ion silicon nanode and aluminium air batteries, which will be covered in more detail in a future video. There were two major trends that were witnessed in the preceding year. The first was higher investment in short-haul fixed-wing electric aircraft. The second was the move towards hydrogen instead of batteries as the primary energy source. So let's see month by month what happened in the electric aviation sector. In January 2023, California-based Archer Aviation unveiled a full-scale mock-up of its five-seat EV toll aircraft called the Midnight. It has a payload of over 1,000 pounds or 450 kilograms for a pilot plus four passengers and their luggage. The configuration for Midnight is the same as Vertical Aviation's VX4 and WISC Generation 6, but overall, it looks more sleek. In the same month, investment was secured by Dufour Aerospace and Dutch electric aircraft startup Maeve Aerospace. Dufour Aerospace is producing a 8-seater tilt-wing aircraft called the V3. It has hybrid propulsion. Maeve Aerospace is producing hydrogen-powered 80-seater aircraft with a range of 800 nautical miles. In February 2023, Australian startup Kite Magnetics unveiled a lightweight, air-cooled 120-kilowatt electric motor. Kite Magnetics has mentioned that the motor is more powerful than a typical small car but weighs only around as much as a full suitcase. Using a novel Aeroprem magnetic technology, they have been able to reduce energy wasted by electric motors by more than 10 times. Kite is a great addition to the aviation motor manufacturers, which includes Safran, Magniax, Siemens and Rolls-Royce. All of them are competing to get a greater chunk of this emerging market. Also in the same month, AMSL Aero, another Australian startup, announced the maiden flight of its boxwing EV toll, the Vertier. Further afield, Beta Technologies and charter aviation company Blade flew a piloted EV toll, the Beta LIS-250, for the first time in the New York City region. In March 2023, Australia's first commercially produced electric aircraft was unveiled. It was E-22 Spark produced by Bader Aero. The two-seater has one and a half hour of flight time. It provides an alternative to Pipistrel Valis Electro in the training aircraft category. Meanwhile, in China, Autoflight's Prosperity completed the longest range of 135 nautical miles or 250 kilometers on a single charge of its lithium-ion batteries. The aircraft took off and landed vertically. Note that Joby's aircraft, the S-4, previously had held the record with 134 nautical mile flight in July 2021. In April 2023, the H2Fly and partners achieved the first milestone of integrating and commissioning a liquid hydrogen storage system for hydrogen electric aircraft. The H2Fly four-seater demonstrator has been flying hydrogen-powered aircraft since 2016. In the month of May, Boeing took Viscaro fully under its wing. This also helped to settle the bitter dispute between Archer and Whisk for stealing design secrets as both these companies were now linked through Boeing. In June, the Norwegian startup Elfly revealed its all-electric seaplane called the Noemi. This aircraft will have between 6 and 13 seats and will fly up to around 200 kilometers at speeds of up to 250 knots. The company aims to operate in Western Norway with an initial fleet of 15 seaplanes flying between fjords. 
in the same month, Rolls-Royce announced a gas turbine turbo generator specifically designed for electric aircraft. It can produce 800 kilowatts of electricity with a power to weight ratio of 4 kilowatts per kilogram. Note that with batteries, one can extract 1.5 kilowatts of power per kilogram, but not for a sustained period of time. The turbo generator system by Rolls-Royce is sustainable aviation fuel capable with provision for hydrogen. This would be ideal for EV tolls which require both high power and high energy for longer missions. In July came the anticlimactic news that NASA has pulled the plug on its groundbreaking X-57 Maxwell program before even the first flight was conducted. The program had already exceeded its budget. It was also cited that a newly discovered problem with the electric propulsion system poses an unacceptable safety risk. There is, however, a huge amount of data available from this program on distributed electric propulsion with augmented lift, which can be useful for those looking to design short takeoff and landing aircraft. Around the same time, Green Energy Tycoon in the UK, Dale Wins, announced UK's first electric airline. The Ecojet, a 19-seater, will fly from Edinburgh to Southampton and will initially run on kerosene before being retrofitted with engines that convert hydrogen to electricity. In August 2023, the very promising VX4 by Vertical Aerospace suffered a setback. While performing an uncrewed flight test, hovering at 20 feet above the ground, the aircraft's starboard wing snapped, which resulted in a crash. The root cause was a bonding issue of the propeller that came loose during the test and resulted in excessive load on one of the pylons. Despite the incident, Vertical Aerospace is on course for certification in 2026. Flight tests so far reveal that the aircraft performed well both electrically and thermally. In China, Yihang completed all the required flight tests for its EH-216S paving the way for type certification from Chinese regulators. Meanwhile, Autoflight executed the first EV toll formation flight using three autonomous Prosperity aircraft prototypes. In September, Joby Aviation delivered its S-4 to the Edwards Air Force Base in California, about six months ahead of schedule, marking the first ever delivery of an EV toll aircraft to a paying customer in the U.S. In the same month, RICE Aerotech's single-person eVTOL called the Recon was unveiled. It has a 25-minute flight time or about 20 miles of range on a single charge. October 2023 saw Archer's Midnight eVTOL prototype aircraft make its first flight. China issued the world's first eVTOL type certificate to Ehang's 216S autonomous vehicle. Around the same time, the aircraft developer Opner, which is popular for its personal EV toll, the Black Fly, rebranded itself as Pivotal Aero. In November, the green airline Ecojet bought 70 electric aircraft engines. Around the same time, the British-American company Zero Avia got $116 million funds for hydrogen electric aircraft engines. Zero Avia is building zero-emission engines for commercial aircrafts its first engine, scheduled for completion by 2026, is for aircraft carrying 9 to 19 people and capable of traveling up to 300 miles. Lilium received eVTOL design authority from ESA. Receiving the DOA means that Lilium is now entitled by ESA to design, develop and hold a type certificate. Finally, in December, the significant news was that California-based Overair completed their full-scale prototype of the Butterfly. It is a four-prop tilt rotor that seats six people. Flight tests for the Butterfly will commence in early 2024. The noise target for this aircraft is just 55 decibels. Meanwhile, on the 5th of December, Airbus's new hybrid electric aircraft, the Ecopulse, completed its first flight. The plane flew for approximately 100 minutes in the skies above France. Other than the main propeller, the Ecopulse also has six smaller electric thrusters 
to boost takeoff and landing performance. So that was a summary of the key events that took place in the year 2023 regarding EV tolls and electric aviation. If you would like to remain abreast of the developments in the sustainable aviation world, then please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your attention.